Hello everyone, happy Valentine's Day. I have Grayson, he's over here on the other side of the tunnel, and I have him in red for Valentine's Day. I asked him the other day, <clears throat> I said, Grayson, will you be my Valentine? And he was like looking at me and I said, you're supposed to say yes. And then he was like, yes. <laughs> so I have two Valentine's Day, my baby and my husband. And yeah, we don't really have any plans today. A year ago for Valentine's Day, Anthony took me and saw, we saw Hamilton, the musical, which was amazing. Um, they were touring in Columbus on Valentine's Day. And so we went and saw my sister and her fiance uh, watch Grayson for us. And it was so fun, so much fun. I loved it. I love musicals and plays and all that. Anthony was like, meh, but it was really awesome. But this year, we don't have any plans. <laughs> we don't have any babysitter because I was like, I can't ask my sister every year on Valentine's Day to babysit. So Anthony's working a half day at work. And he's going to come home early. And then I really don't think we have any plans. I told him we need to, like, get dinner from somewhere so I don't have to cook. <laughs> um, I saw that um, Olive Garden has, like, a deal right now where it's, like, a meal for two for, like, $32 or something. And you get, like, breadsticks and an entree to share and a dessert or something. I don't know. It seemed pretty cool. And I'm kind of craving pasta, so maybe we'll do that. Or maybe we'll just get something from somewhere else. I don't know. Usually on Fridays we get pizza, but we already had pizza earlier this week, so I don't think we'll do that. But, yeah, so it's Valentine's Day. Super exciting. I mean, not really for us because we're not doing anything. We'll probably just watch a movie tonight and hang out with Gray. <laughs> um, I didn't get Anthony anything for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Usually I get him something. One year I got him... Um, like Sirius XM for his car and I don't remember what I got him last year <laughs> but this year I kept asking him what he wanted he said nothing so I didn't get him anything and then for me um, he told me he was gonna get flowers or something but I told him not to get me anything because really he already got me his Valentine's Day gift which was like Christmas and Valentine's Day all rolled into one and so this is a long story, but um, when Anthony and I were engaged, we were going to get married. We went ring shopping for our wedding rings. I already had my engagement ring, but we had to get wedding rings. And, of course, guys' rings are super cheap. Anthony's was, like, 100 or so dollars. I don't know. And he got, like, tungsten rings. Like, they never scratch or anything. And then when it came to my ring, girls' rings are a little more expensive. But Anthony and I didn't have any money when we were getting married. Um... We had just, I mean, like, we graduated college in April, and then we got married in July. Like, we had no money. I wasn't working yet. Anthony wasn't working, and the little that he did work, he was all towards his college tuition. So we had, like, no money. Anthony didn't start his real job until, like, June. We got married in July. So we had no money. So we could only afford to buy, like, the cheapest wedding ring ever. It was, like... $300 or something. I don't know. It was really cheap, um, but it was all we could afford. And so that was good enough. Well, a couple months after we got married, we started realizing that like the ring had like a crack down the side of it. And it was like black. And we were like, Ooh, that doesn't look very good. And I don't know what came like, I don't know why it started doing that. Um, but I dealt with it and Anthony always told me like, oh, one day I'll get you, you know, a better ring. We just have to save up, which I was fine with. Well, a couple of months ago, and I don't know if this caused it, but I went swimming in my parents' indoor pool with Grayson and my mom. And the next thing I look at my ring and it's like the whole ring is pitch dark. I have pictures of it. I'll input it here that I sent to Anthony. And yeah, it was like pitch dark. It wasn't, I think the whole ring got tarnished. I don't know if it was because it was just a cheap ring. I honestly don't even remember where we got the ring from because we went to a couple different places in the mall and then just picked the cheapest one. I don't even remember what, where we got it from. Um, but yeah, it was like totally tarnished. And so we were like, okay, yeah, we really need to get the ring now. 
So, over Christmas break, Anthony gets, like, the week of Christmas off. The one day, Anthony's parents watched Grayson for us, and we went ring shopping, and we found a replacement ring. Uh, when we went shopping for it, uh, we, they had, like, they, we have this big ring shop by our house, and so we tried a whole bunch of different rings on, and... Yeah, what is that? Is that an eye? Oh, it looks like the moon, huh? He's very into the moon and stars lately. Also, he has this little bruise on his cheek. Poor little thing. He whacked his face into the couch. Okay. So that wasn't fun, but it's looking better. Where'd, you got some string on you. Where'd you get that from? Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> so... Anyway, yeah, we looked at a bunch of rings, and I like them fine. We actually, before we went to this big ring shop, we went to um, a K Jewelers, which when we were young, Anthony got all of my jewelry from K because it's usually known as being like the cheapest of all the ring stores. And there's been some, sorry, I'm like following Gray around. There's been some stories out there um, a couple of years ago about how like K jewelers <coughs> people like got their um, engagement rings there and then when we when they would take it to K to like get it resized or fixed or whatever K would take the diamond and then it would like they replaced it with a different diamond a less um, an, a less nicer diamond and so people were freaking out about that so that was like the whole thing with Kay, so I didn't, we went and looked at it, but I didn't like any of their rings. I thought they were all not pretty looking. So then we went to this big diamond shop by our house, and we found a couple rings, and I did like it. And then the lady was like, well, how about we try this? And so she had a set where it was two wedding bands, and they had diamonds on them, and they went on either side of my ring, and I was like, ooh, I really like that. Of course, I like the most expensive thing. That's me. The other rings we were looking at were like 500, 600. These two rings together were 1600. <laughs> but Anthony was like, honestly, I was expecting you to find something that was like way more expensive, like 3000 or something. I was like, Anthony, why would I spend that money? So anyway, we decided to get it. It took like a month to come in. It did get come in, so I'll show you guys. So this. So these are my rings now. So I have my engagement ring in the middle and then the two bands on either side. And they just have diamonds down either side and then they don't go all the way around just like my engagement ring doesn't. But I love them. I think it looks awesome. Let me show you if I can find it, my other ring. Yeah, okay, so I still have it. Let me like put it under some lights so you can see. So this is my old wedding ring. And this is... Like you can see, it's totally tarnished. Again, I don't really know what caused it to be like this, but you can see, ooh, it's hard time focusing. Like right here is where like, oh there, you can see that. That's what we dealt with for a while was there was just this like crack down the side on the, this was on the back end of it, obviously, cause you can see the diamonds on this side. So yeah, there was that crack and I, I had that crack for like, Ever. I mean, it showed up months after we got married. And then it's like the crack just spread in the back and it was just turned it. This is actually lighter than what it was. If you see the pictures, those pictures, it was even darker. So this is actually lighter than what it was. But yeah, it's just sad. I mean, I'm going to keep this ring forever because this was our original ring, but it's just now I have nicer rings they go better with the diamond it was hard originally for anthony and i to find a wedding band that would coincide with my engagement ring because anthony got my engagement ring in japan and so it's hard to match japan style with american style so thankfully this place they matched it pretty well with the wedding band so i really like how it works do you need help so we're in our room we have this box fan that we put out um we just like it as white noise in the, at night and gray is obsessed with it he's turned found out how to turn it on but he doesn't know how to turn it off 
so then I have to turn it off for him. And then he just goes right back to it. So anyway, that's the whole story. So I told Anthony not to get me anything for Valentine's Day because obviously the rings that he got me now are way expensive, more than a Christmas or Valentine's or even next Christmas gift. Like he is good, but I think he wants to get me something. So we'll see. Grayson didn't get me anything. How rude. <laughs> Guess I'll have to wait till he's a little bit older, but I didn't get Grayson anything for Valentine's Day either. A lot of my mom friends have like posted like gifts like to get their kids like a teddy bear or a balloon or something for their kids. And I just, Gray's not old enough. He's not even two. He won't even care like if I get him something little and it's just more junk in the house. So I'm just gonna wait until he's older and actually like knows that it's a holiday and knows like what Valentine's Day is. I just don't see the point in it right now. So I'm not doing it. <laughs> I didn't do it. Obviously, it's it's the day of. Um, but Gray and I are having cabin fever. I mean, he's resorting to playing with a box fan and our curtains. I try to take him out every now and again, but it's just so hard because we're limited, obviously, because you have to go inside and a lot of places charge or they're like overrun with kids. So we go to the library a lot for story time and we go to like free play gyms when we can. And it really helps with my mom's group because a lot of people will have play dates and stuff. But this week and next week, there's like nothing that we can go to. So it's kind of a bummer. There was a mom's group play date thing going on today, but it was at Chuck E. Cheese. And there was like 20 moms going with their, all their kids. And I just feel like if I take Grayson to Chuck E. Cheese, he's just gonna be so over overwhelmed by it. He's gonna be overstimulated with all the lights and the noises and there's nothing he can really play with I think they have like a little jungle gym I haven't been to Chuck E. Cheese in years but sorry I keep going to turn the fan off and so I just don't think Gray would like that so we're not doing that we might um there's like an ice cream shop like 10 minutes away from our house and they have a free like kids place and usually if you go right when they open right at like 10 in the morning it's not too bad with kids but like if you go anytime during the weekend or like anytime later in the day like it's crazy packed with kids and it's just not worth it like it's not that big of a space so i might take him there so we can just like get out of the house because we didn't go anywhere yesterday because we got a lot of snow and i didn't want to deal with the roads but we're just going crazy like i'm going crazy trying to keep him entertained with a fan and all he wants to do is watch you know his shows and stuff and that's not good for him so it's just so tough in the winter but we might do that what are you doing so yeah, I think we're gonna go and check that out and then hopefully Anthony will be home and he can help me with Gray. So that's our plan. <laughs>
like ice cream? Huh? Burr, Burr, is it cold? Burr. Ready? <laughs> Do you want to get a mom and dad is dead? Do you want to get a mom and dad is dead? Do you want to go? I did, did, did. Ready? Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> 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 Boom! <laughs> 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 My throat's hurt. <laughs> He's having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is you hunt buddy, but you're making me tired. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys. It's Valentine's Day evening. Anthony's home from work, and he brought me flowers. So pretty. I think he spent way too much money on them, but they are so pretty. He got me red, and there's some green in here. It's so pretty. And, of course, he got me donuts. Which, as is tradition, ever since I can remember, Anthony has always brought me flowers and donuts because I'm the type of girl that I like my flowers, but I love my sweets. And so he knows to bring me donuts, and we've already ate a few, as you can see. <laughs> but they are so good, and we don't get donuts very often. So it's a treat. So, for lunch, I cooked spaghetti. Spurgerter. It's still out here. I need to put it away. Oops. And then for dinner, we went uber fancy <laughs> and we got roosters, which is kind of like a frickers. It's just like a cheap bar food. Nobody's going to know either one of those places. It's like Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay, yeah. It's like Buffalo Wild Wings. Just cheap. Cheap food. So I got a sub. Um, I made sure to get mine hot with the meat and stuff since I'm pregnant and I got fries and Anthony got wings yep. and ranch <laughs> and we got a million napkins yep. Yep, yep, yep. and yeah I kind of forgot to vlog earlier today um, Gray ended up not taking a nap and then we decided to go to the mall because we were looking for some puzzles for him because he has three puzzles but like he's mastered them and they bore him, so I want to get him new puzzles. So we went to the mall in search of puzzles and he ended up falling asleep on the way to the mall. So then we had to just sit in our car at the mall parking lot for a half hour. And then we went in the mall and we didn't even find any puzzles. So that was a bummer, but that was okay. And then I put Gray to bed and now we're having our dinner and we're gonna watch a movie. We're gonna watch Joker. We can't ever see movies in theaters because we have a child, so we have to wait for them to come out on DVD to watch them. And so now we are going to watch Joker. Hopefully it's good. We will see. Anthony has heard that it's good. We're gonna eat our romantic dinner. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe have a donut for dessert. Another. While we smell our flowers. And yeah, I think that's kind of it for Valentine's Day. Anthony was a cute Valentine, and Gray was the cutest Valentine. <gasps> yep, he's cuter than you. Oh. And tomorrow I'm off to a girls weekend with my mom and my two sisters. We are headed to Louisville, Kentucky. Oh. And which a lot of people don't say Louisville right, and Anthony and I get very angry about it. She's not even saying it right now. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people say Louisville for, for Louisville, or, and that's not, or Louisville. Louisville. We've heard it a lot of different ways, and we didn't even know how to pronounce it until we went to Cincinnati for college, and it's so close that we learned. And they were in our conference at the time. They're not anymore. But really, the best way to say Louisville, you say it. So the trick is to sound like, one, try to make it one consonant, or one... Just like, yeah, one, one, one vowel. 
one syllable, oh, one syllable. and say it like you have a bunch of marbles in your mouth. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, so like the worse it sounds, the better it is. <laughs> the closer you are. Yeah, the closer you are to being right. So anyway, we're going there. My dad's going to fly us in his plane. And we are going shopping for my mom. Um, she is looking for a dress for my sister's wedding, which is in a f couple months. So we are on the mission. I'm sure I will vlog a little bit tomorrow and show you guys our shopping spree. And hopefully we are successful. And I'm leaving Anthony in charge of Grey Grey. And Anthony's parents are coming tomorrow to help. We're going to die. <laughs> and we are going to tell them that we are expecting. Baby number two. Yes. They are the last people, well, like the last immediate family members who need to know. And after we tell them, then we can post on social media and then everyone will know. It's literally been killing Shannon. It's, it's been killing me because I want everyone to know, but I don't want to say anything before Anthony's parents know. So. No, she wants to post on social media about it. She doesn't yeah. care if everyone knows. She wants to brag. <laughs> well, it's exciting. It's baby number two. I'm excited about it. I should be excited about it. So, yes, I'm very excited about that. Anthony has to give me a full report when I come back on how it went because I won't be here when they find out. Nope. So that's all. Signing off for Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Even if you don't have a significant other or a Valentine, I'm sure there's someone in your life that you are thankful for and love. So, on that note, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Comment on what your Valentine's Day plans were. Yeah, let us know. Did you get anything good and did you go anywhere? Uh, when I went to pick up the food from Frickers, which again is like a B-dubs, it was packed with people and I was shocked. And it's also called Roosters. Oh, did I say Frickers? <laughs> yes, you did. Oh my gosh, see, I keep changing the names because they're so similar. When I went to Roosters to pick up our food, it was packed with people, which I'm like, if you have the opportunity to go out to eat, we don't because we have a child. I guess we could have taken him out to eat, but not this late. It's too late right now. There were so many people there, and I'm like, if you're gonna go somewhere nice for Valentine's Day, don't go to Roosters. Go to Olive, Olive Garden. Garden. <laughs> not nice. I don't know. We they had got this the, argument earlier. We had Olive this Garden's argument earlier. Nice. I think it's nice. Anthony thinks it's not nice, but go somewhere. Somewhat nice. I mean, don't go to roosters, but I guess teach their own. So that's all, and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.